good afternoon students let's start the concept of uh, ecosystem let's start with the uh, food chains in previous class that is uh, yesterday we have discussed something about energy flow you know energy flow occurs from producers to the consumers it may also reach the decomposers but to block the energy there is a need of some conduits some barriers okay various organisms of the food chain various organisms of the food chain or through the food chain they carry the energy from one level to the other level okay so we'll discuss this what is called concept called as a food chain in detail okay i'll discuss it yesterday food chain is the unidirectional sequence of transfer of transfer of food from one tropic level to next one tropic level to next in this food chain the organisms the organisms interact in such a way that one organism eat and be eaten by be eaten by another be eaten by another okay this is a unidirectional sequence of transfer of food from one tropic level to next or organisms of one tropic level to next tropic level organisms or producers to primary consumers primary consumers to secondary consumers and tertiary consumers like that so on okay in this organisms interact interact themselves in such a way that one organism eat okay that eat on other organism and again that is being eaten by one more organism okay organism of next tropic level okay and it is it is put in synthesis with a lower tropic level to in synthesis with lower tropic level to higher ends with what higher tropic levels in synthesis with a lower tropic level and ends with higher tropic levels okay means here the primary producers the primary producers occupy the lower tropic level whereas the top animals occupy the higher tropic level so through this all the tropic levels there is a transfer of the food okay in the form of organic matter and then we will reach the next last tropic level sometimes all our food we reach the decomposers also okay then in this food chain there are two types there are two types in food chains two types of food chains there are two types in food chain first one is grazing food chain second one is detritus food chain first one is grazing food chain second one is detritus food chain okay we have one more type that is third one parasitic food chain parasitic food chain what is parasitic food chain starts with the carnivores and ends with the parasites okay starts with the carnivores and ends with the parasites here 
uh, consumers like uh, plants. Okay, plants are eaten by are uh, eaten by uh, some uh, parasitic parasitic insects. Okay, or they may be consumers or what do you call as the consumers? They may be consumers. These are eaten by parasites. Eaten by parasites. Okay, they may be animals or they may be uh, producers of the plants. These are completely eaten by the parasites. Okay, the parasites depends on the host organisms. So this uh, starts with the uh, producers or consumers and always ends with the parasites. So this is the parasitic food chain. It uh, found uh, rarely in uh, several uh, ecosystems like uh, forest ecosystem where you find out and uh, plants and the animals. Okay, some animals and plants are uh, decayed by or affected by the parasites. So this is a parasitic food chain uh, found very rarely. Okay, one of the very important food chain is uh, grazing food chain and number is uh, detritus food chain. Grazing food chain, detritus food chain. Okay, we'll discuss the first one called as grazing food chain. Grazing food chain. Okay, here this is a food chain of this is a food chain of food chain of biotic components. Food chain of biotic components. Okay, it includes producers, consumers. It includes two direct product types of organisms. Producers and consumers. Okay. Here producers are the plants. They may be plants, they may be uh, algae, they may be uh, bacteria, they may be phytoplankons. These are the producers in this uh, grazing food chain or uh, biotic component, biotic food chain. Okay. Then animals may be any kind of animals, they may be herbivores. Herbivores like uh, cow, then uh, some herbivores, birds, rabbit, rat, grasshopper, grasshopper, and uh, some uh, small insects which feed on the plants are the herbivores. Okay, you can say uh, some uh, cattle. Remaining cattle, maybe a uh, uh, horse, uh, goat, uh, in the popular numbers are the herbivores. Okay, then it includes carnivores. Carnivores, carnivores may be your uh, hyena, tiger, lion, then. Uh, Predatory birds, larger fishes. So all these include the carnivorous animals. So there is a transfer of food from the producers then to the consumers. So in consumers we have herbivores as the primary consumers, then a secondary consumers and tertiary consumers in the form of carnivorous animals. Okay. So these are the various examples we have seen all today. Uh, by you know, the biotic food chain, nothing but uh, grazing food chain, grazing food chain. Okay, let's run this. We have uh, some other concept of this grazing food chain. Grazing food chain. Very important. It is very important to transfer the energy. It is one of the very important. It is one of the kind of. It is one of the uh, barrier for transporting energy from one trophic level to another trophic level. Okay. And this grazing food chain is meant for. Balancing meant for balancing the uh, what do you call as a 
ecosystem meant for balancing all ecosystem means here it uh, maintain the uh, species diversity okay grazing foods they maintain the species diversity for example in one uh, forest in one of the forest there are hundreds of days hundreds of days okay and for the hundreds of days there are hundreds of about uh, 10 lions if you imbalance it or any one of these out of three components three living components if you imbalance it you remove any of one of the three components what happens there is a imbalance in the ecosystem if you remove the lions what happens there is an increase in the deer species when the number of deer species increases what happens there is a exploitation of the forest there is no food for the there is a large number of about thousands of deer so if there are 10 lions they will keep the prey species, they will keep the uh, species of the bear in a constant rate. Okay. When these are in constant number, the forest or the grass will also remain as a uh, one of the green forest or a constant forest. Okay. There is no scarcity of the food for the deer and there is no, food, no scarcity of the food for lions also. Okay. Everything will be in constant rate. That will be uh, what we call balanced by the grazing food chain. Balanced by what? Grazing food chain. Then grazing food chain okay, occurs from 2 to 5 tropic levels. Starts with the say, uh, starts with what uh, 2 to 5 tropic levels. Okay, it occurs from 2 to 5 tropic levels. Means average uh, levels in this average. Average tropic levels in the uh, grazing food chain are 2 to Five tropic levels. Okay, producers are the first tropic level organisms. Then are consumers, primary consumers, secondary consumers, tertiary consumers, and the quaternary consumers. Like that, we can find a number of consumers in the grazing food chain. So it occupies about two to five tropic levels. Okay, so up with this, we can discuss uh, some simple examples of grazing food chain. Simple examples are. Examples. One of the basic food chain is grass is a producer. Grass is a producer. Grass is eaten by goat. Is a primary consumer. Primary consumer. Okay. And this goat is eaten by man okay he is a secondary consumer secondary consumer here this uh, grassland one of the uh, grazing food chain ends with a man with the secondary consumers okay there are three tropic levels first tropic level occupied by the grass and second tropic level occupied by the goat then uh, third tropic level occupied by the man so on the simplest uh, food chain and here we can find the flow of energy from grass to goat, goat to man. Okay, here man is kept in a secondary consumer. Remember this, so they are the mask in the MCQs. And goat is kept in a primary consumer level. So this is a herbivorous animal. Here man can be act as a carnivorous in this type of food chain. Okay, other food chains are also there, but from this uh, simple food chain, we have a number of uh, examples for this uh, grazing food chains. Other examples, first we can have a grassland ecosystem, food chain in the grassland ecosystem, food chain in grassland ecosystem. Here we have a producers in the form of grass, okay, grass is eaten by grasshopper, grasshopper. Grasshopper is again consumed by the frog. Frog is again consumed by the snake. Snake is again consumed by what? Eagle. Eagle. So here grasses are producers, primary consumers, secondary consumer, tertiary consumer, quaternary consumer. So in this type of food chain, we find five tropic levels. Tropic level one, C1 is a grass. P2 is a grasshopper, 
if he is a frog, T4 is a snake, T5 is a eagle. Fifth trophic level is a eagle. So, you can find the five trophic levels in this ecosystem. Okay, one more example of the grassland ecosystem grass, may be eaten by what? Rabbit. Grass is eaten by a rabbit. Okay, rabbit may be eaten by what? Uh, how? Okay, one of the biggest figures is a how that can eat the rabbit. Here we have three tropic levels. Okay, uh, one more example we have grass is eaten by a uh, cow. Okay, cow can be eaten by what? Lion or a tiger. Okay, so this one more type of uh, grazing foods. Eh? Here we obtain the three different types of consumers. Only you have only four single producer that called as grass, three types of consumers. Okay, and this animal is considered by different kinds of animals. So the fruits in may vary from two to uh, five tropic levels or around more of tropic levels. Okay, these are about a, a grassland ecosystem and grazing foods. Eh? Okay. Then, in grass cannot be a only grass, it can have a plant also in the forest ecosystem. Plants will be within the forest ecosystem. In forest, we have a large number of uh, herbivorous animals. Okay. Maybe deer, plants will be eaten by the deer, maybe a rabbit. Okay. And these are eaten by the hyena. May be eaten by uh, fox. Okay, these may be eaten by lion, tiger, and this fox may be eaten by uh, what you call as a wolf also. Okay, now, there are number of uh, species in a forest ecosystem. We find plants and grasses as a producers. Okay, plants eat only deer and rabbit, and hyena, fox may eat only deer and rabbit, and uh, lion, tiger, wolf may have. The hyena or fox, or the way that it will be rabbits. You can find the different levels in different examples of the grass ecosystem. And we will come into the pond ecosystem or aquatic ecosystem. Aquatic ecosystem. Aquatic ecosystem. Okay, in a pond, in a pond, there are several primary producers. Okay, there are several primary producers. For example, we have phytoplanktons. Phytoplanktons, some uh, aquatic plants. Aquatic plants. We are giving any kind of example like uh, Hydrilla, Velsneria, Iconia. Pistia, like a number of examples, they may go. Those are all aquatic plants. So, these aquatic plants are phytoplanktons are eaten by the zooplanktons. Zooplanktons or some of free swimming forms. Free swimming forms or free swimming animals. Okay, and these are eaten by the small fishes. Small fishes. The small fish are eaten by the large fishes, and these are eaten by the predatory birds. Predatory birds. So this one of the food chain in the pond ecosystem. It starts with the producers. Phytoplanktons are the producers here. They may ask the question, which are the producers in this ecosystem? And these are the what is called as a primary consumers? Primary consumers. Okay. And these are done by the secondary consumers. Secondary consumers. And these are tertiary consumers. And these are the quaternary. Consumers. Okay, we find a different levels in the ecosystem. These all involved in the uh, food chain, that is uh, grazing food chain of the pond ecosystem. Pond ecosystem. Coming to the ocean ecosystem. Ocean ecosystem. 
ocean ecosystem here in ocean we find a very few number of the phytoplankton phyto plankton in the form of uh, diatoms okay along this in ocean we also find some of uh, brown eyed red algae this also act as a producer producers in the ocean ecosystem brown eyed red algae okay and these may be done by the zoo plankton zoo plankton and some of what you call as a small fishes small fishes and some of crustaceans crustaceans also feed on the what you call as a brown red algae okay and these are again eaten by the large fishes okay and some predatory birds birds feed on the large fishes also okay and you can find the four tropic levels First tropic level that is a producers is occupied by phytoplankton, may be a diatoms, brown and red algae are present in this uh, ocean ecosystem, and you find uh, zooplankton which feed on the phytoplankton, small fishes and some uh, crustaceans feed on the uh, brown and red algae. These are the primary consumers. Okay, then coming to this uh, large fishes which are the uh, secondary consumers feed on the zooplankton or uh, small fishes and the spreader birds which are feed on the larger species in the ocean ecosystem apart from this we have our different aquatic animals also those interact with each other to form a to complete the uh, grazing food in the aquatic ecosystem then as compared to the uh, what we call the terrestrial ecosystems we find the uh, uh, diversity in the ocean ecosystem because we find a large number of different kinds of Uh, what we call as the consumers are present in the aquatic bodies. Okay, different kinds of consumers are found in the aquatic bodies. Yes, compared to the terrestrial ecosystem. Okay, you will find uh, numerous aquatic animals. There are uh, more than uh, 200 species in the ocean. Okay, those interact with each other to, to complete the grazing food chain. Okay, so remember, grazing food chain is one of the living food chain, and this is also called the biotic food chain as only living organisms are. Uh, what we call as a take part in the completion of the food chain. Okay. Now we we'll discuss uh, one more type of the food chain called as detritus food chain. Detritus food chain is nothing but the uh, abiotic food chain as producers are abiotic things. Producers are dead portion of the plants and animals. Next one is detritus food chain. In this detritus food chain, detritus is a producer. The producer is detritus. Yeah, this detritus detritus is Not living. This food chain is made up of what? Also called what? Abiotic food chain. Abiotic food chain is producer is not a living one. In a grazing food chain, there were plants, a plants acting as a producer, but they are living one. But here, this uh, organic matter which is a decomposable material is there. So this is called the detritus. This is not living one. Okay. And this detritus containing The remains of it contains what remains of plants like uh, leaves, branches, wood blocks, fruits, seeds, flowers, etc. Okay, anything can remain as a dead dust. Okay, along with this, dead bodies of dead bodies of animals, dead bodies of animals also involved in this uh, dead dust. Okay, 
and here there are certain organisms called as detritivores detritivores all organisms behave as a primary consumers primary consumers okay in the detritivores means we have uh, so many uh, invertebrates as well as some microorganisms all these behave as a primary consumers okay then here includes earthworm includes the earthworm includes a uh, beetles it includes a uh, termites beetles earthworms termites in the bacteria fungi etc Okay, these are the detritivores. These are the detritivores. These feed on the dead dust. Okay, here these primary consumers, how they process the decomposition means using these liberates, these liberates that are digestive enzymes on the detritus. These liberates certain digestive enzymes on the dead detritus. Okay, and those digestive enzymes. degrade the complex organic matter in the form of particles and they simplify them to form a various minerals along with that there is a liberation of energy also when they decompose in the form of catalytic reaction there is a liberation of certain kind of energy so that energy is used for the uh, their metabolic activities by these organisms okay, what they do these primary animals liberate they liberate the digestive enzymes digestive enzymes on the on the detritus what they liberate they liberate the digestive enzymes on the detritus okay and detritus undergo degradation decomposition detritus undergo decomposition and liberate liberate energy liberate energy as well as as well as several kinds of minerals several kinds of minerals so that's this runty are uh, the food chain this detritive was what they do they liberate certain digestive enzymes okay these digestive enzymes which are uh, decompose the organic matter and after decomposition the organic matter liberate the energy energy as well as some uh, what do you call as uh, minerals minerals in the form of nutrients like uh, carbon dioxide water may nitrogen it may be a phosphorus may be calcium and these what are the macro and micro nutrients which are essential for the plants as well as essential for the uh, further growth of these organisms all are liberated by the uh, decomposing material after degradation of the digestion by these after digestion by this organisms okay then here also these consumers are also again eaten by some other uh, consumers called as secondary consumers secondary consumers for example the bacteria and fungi so the bacteria and fungi are usually consumed by the larvae of some insects larvae of some insects okay and those larvae of insects when get the hatch when they get matured in insects or insects may be eaten by some small insectivorous birds insectivorous birds so again the this food is also starts with the dead particles but the uh, it ends with the living organisms okay and here for these the energy sources energy sources the energy sources energy source is not a sunlight not a sunlight but they obtain energy they energy by by the process of decomposition process of 
decomposition of organic matter or detritus remember this very important point usually in the grazing food chain okay in the gfc grazing food chain solar energy solar energy is a source of energy source of energy for the uh, organisms involved in grazing food chain but here in this uh, detritus food chain the energy is not a solar energy but the energy by process of the decomposition of organic matter there is nothing but the detritus okay so there are basic energy from this uh, detritus after decomposition okay then as compared to the grazing food chain lot of energy is transferred okay more more amount of energy transferred into the detritus uh, food chain as compared to grazing food chain this can conduct more energy because it can what can is a use a various raw materials from producers such well as consumers okay all producers and the consumers of death and the bp okay they will enter the uh, form of uh, detritus so here there is a uh, what can is a transfer of the large amount of energy as compared to the grazing food chain okay then we have some more examples examples are uh, developed by mangrove forest some examples of this detritus food chain examples for dfc that is detritus food chain okay here we have mangrove forest mangrove forest in this mangrove forest we find fallen leaves fallen leaves and dead plant materials or parts other parts of the dead in nature this act as a producers this act as what producers in the uh, dead dust food chain okay these fallen leaves or dead plants or other materials of the plants are consumed by the bacteria when they digest it bacteria fungi and some insects some insects okay and these bacteria and fungi are consumed by the larvae larvae of insects some of the insects which lay their eggs on the detritus those hatches out to form the larvae larvae feed on the bacteria and fungi okay and these larvae of insects are again eaten by the predatory birds small birds which feed on insects insectivorous birds they are called as a insectivorous insectivorous birds okay there is also presence of uh, lot many consumers so these consumers may be bacteria fungi and some insects and uh, larvae of the insects are eaten feed on the bacteria and fungi and some insectivorous birds feed on the larvae of the insects Okay, and these insects may be directly fed by the insectivorous birds. Okay, this is one of the example for detritus uh, food chain in the mangrove forest. Okay, in a common uh, forest, we find a tropical rainforest. We find a increased rate of decomposition because of uh, presence of a litter. Okay, litter is a uh, fallen leaf, partially degraded fallen leaf. It is called as litter. So this litter is decomposed by earthworm we find a uh, earthworm termites okay and then this again this is again uh, coped by the bacteria fungi etc okay 
Okay, and these are terms are eaten by some uh, predatory birds. Predatory birds and uh, some larvae of insects. Okay, here you find uh, the predators for them. So if there is anything but predators here, this is a producers. Producer and a third some termites, bacteria, fungi behave as a primary cleaners. And these are eaten by the some uh, birds or larvae of the insects. Okay. Then these are the insects may be eaten by the insectivorous birds. Insectivorous birds is common in the tropical forest. Okay, common in the tropical forest. Okay. Then coming to the difference between grazing food chain and detectors. Food chain. We find a very few differences. The differences may give you an idea about actual uh, concept of the both uh, type of food chains. What is the interrelation between the both type of food chains? Okay. Difference between GFC and BFC. GFC and DFC. Okay. GFC stands for grazing food chain. Grazing food chain. And DFC stands for, you know, detritus food chain. Okay. For this, for this, Sunlight. Sunlight is a source of energy. Sunlight is a source of energy. For this, decomposing materials provide certain amount of amount of energy during chemical reactions usually there is occurrence of some chemical reactions called as oxidation process so during oxidation of some inorganic elements there is liberation of ATP energy so that ATP is a source of energy for this uh, DFC. Okay, and this energy is a this energy is a source of energy for this uh, DFC. Okay, then the organisms organisms of GFC. Provide, provide organic matter for DFC. Okay, the organisms of the GFC. They provide organic matter for DFC. See here, maybe plants or animals after death. Okay, they need to enter the DFC. Means they are they dying in the form of organic matter in the form of biomass. Okay. That organic matter, that biomass, is entered the DFC. So, at the same time, DFC provide minerals, provide minerals for the plants. It provide what? Minerals means so they are the inorganic minerals. Inorganic minerals for the Plants or uh, plants of the of uh, GFC plants of GFC. Okay. Here the species of GFC feed on feed on the 
species involve in involve in DMC. Okay, here the species decompose the species of DFC decompose the dead portion the dead portion of organisms of GFC what is the decompose but this is not going to decompose this feed on the species in the DFC for example some birds are there some birds which are involved in the GFC okay which feed on the carbon so those feed on the termites okay those feed on the uh, other organisms involved in the DFC okay but these species of DFC not feed on the species of the GFC but this decomposed dead portion of the organisms of GFC when leaves are fall down when the branches are flowers or fruits are fall down those immediately decomposed by the decomposed by the uh, organisms which are to DFC okay then the GFC is important for energy flow important for energy flow okay and the DFC is important for supplying supplying nutrients to GFC it flow energy it transfer energy from one uh, tropic level to another tropic level but here what happens it supply nutrients for all tropic levels of the GFC okay very much uh, important thing is supplement of the nutrients to the GFC so there are some differences First thing is here we have a single data source of energy, but here decomposing material provides certain amount of energy by oxidation process. So that is source of energy for this uh, DFC. Okay. And here the organisms of DFC provide organic matter for DFC means after death and decay of these uh, uh, organisms of GFC, those provide organic matter, okay, biomass, dead, dead particles to provide to the DFC. But DFC provide Minerals for the plants of GFC, the provider in the organic minerals. After the last step of the decomposition, we find what is called as the inorganic salts, carbon dioxide, water, some macro elements, some macro elements are given to the plants. So, those are formed by the DFC. Okay. The species of the GFC feed on the species of involved in the DFC. Okay. The grazing foods and species of the grazing foods, maybe a insectivorous bird, some of predator birds feed on the uh, larvae of the insects are feed on the what you call as the earthworms, termites, uh, and others. But these species of the DFC decompose the dead portion only, they are not going to directly feed on the uh, living particles of the GFC, they decompose the dead portion of the organisms of GFC. Okay, then GFC is important for energy flow. Okay, the flow of energy from one tropic level to another tropic level that is important for GFC. But this uh, DFC is what for supplying nutrients to GFC. Okay, after supplying nutrients only, the energy flow can occur from plant to uh, next process and others as energy is not uh, static in any kind of the uh, tropic level. That will flow from one system to another system or uh, one tropic level to another tropic level. For that purpose, the current of uh, supplement of nutrients to the all tropic levels. So, the nutrients they cannot transfer the energy. So this is the difference between uh, GFC and DFC. One more concept we have is food webs. Food web. Okay. Food is the network of food chains. What it is? The network of the food chain. 
Okay, here two to three food chains, two to three food chains of same ecosystem, same ecosystem interact, interact in predatory mechanism. In food web, what this sentence indicates here? Different types of food chains. So, two to three food chains to uh, link uh, ocean ecosystem with uh, what you call as a uh, one more uh, grassland ecosystem. Okay. So, in the same ecosystem only, there may be presence of uh, two to three types of food chains. Okay. These food chains are interconnected, interlinked to each other in the form of uh, predatory mechanisms in a food web to form a food web. Okay, here what why this food webs are created because one species, one species may be a herbivorous animal or a carnivorous animal that is eaten by number of other species, number of other species, or one species, one uh, organotrophic level, grassland ecosystem, food web is a grassland ecosystem, food web is grassland ecosystem. Okay, here grass. Grass is a producer. In grass and ecosystem, grass is a producer. Yes, a uh, basic uh, food chain. Grass is eaten by the grass hopper. Grass hopper. Grass is eaten by the grass hopper. Okay, then grass hopper is eaten by the, as you know, it is a frog, then uh, what you call as a Snake, then hawk or a eagle. This is one of the food chain. Okay, in the same ecosystem, grass may be eaten by the rabbit. Eaten by the rabbit. Okay, rabbit may be eaten by the fox. Fox may be eaten by the wolf. Okay, and this rabbit. Can be done by the hyena. Okay, rabbit can be done by the lion. Okay, grasshopper directly can be done by the birds. Birds can be done by the hawk. Okay, and this wolf can be done by the tiger. Wolf can be done by the tiger. Okay. And the same grass can be done by the cow. It can be done by the deer. Okay. So this cow can be done by what? Tiger. This cow can be done by the lion. Deer can be done by the tiger. Can be done by the tiger. Okay. Then one more. Grass can be done by this one. And then now we have a rat also. Okay. We have a Rat also, rat can also feed on the grass. Okay. Rat can be done by the snake. Snake feed on the rat. So here, one snake may feed on the rat, otherwise it can feed on the frog, sometimes it also, also feed on the uh, large snakes, feed on the rabbit also. Okay. Or this lion is there, lion, lion can feed on the cow, it can feed on the deer, it can feed on the rabbit, anything. Okay. And this uh, hog, hog means the rabbit. Okay, hog means the snake. Okay, this tiger, tiger means the deer, tiger means the cow. Okay, any kind of this primary carnivores are eaten by the different types of the secondary carnivores. So, usually carnivorous animals, carnivorous animals only causes this food web. Okay, no, this what you call as a herbivorous animals. Okay, herbivores cannot form a Food because they directly feed on the grasses. Okay, they feed on only plants. But whatever the carnivorous animals are there, like a lion, this hyena, this fox, wolf, and a snake, hawk, others, these usually feed on the other species, not on the specific species. Okay. Then why these food webs are possible? Why these food webs are created? Okay, there are different reasons to creation of the food webs. Usually, if frog is Usually eating on the grasshopper, thus 
number of the grasshopper get extinct that means they are reduces the number of grasshopper reduces the frog start to feed on the on the some insects some other insects okay and that time what happened the number of population of the grasshopper increases usually tiger usually feed on the deer you know in all uh, media you find tiger always breeding on the deer if the population of the deer decreases that time tiger may enter the cities and may feed on the cow okay and when the tiger feeding on the cow means the number of the deer will increase upwards okay and then all these predatory or what you call as a carnivorous animals usually not feeding on the same species not feeding on specific species they may change their lifestyle and feed on the other animals also other animals also and sometimes if there is a not the presence of the specific species then they go for the others so they go for other option and they go for other animals also usually snakes usually feed on the rats okay if there is a presence of frog or snake will feed on the frog okay then this uh, hawk and eagle always predate the snakes and uh, most of the times they also predate the rabbits rats everything so based on their availability okay and these food chains food chains also maintain the diversity of the particular species okay and there is a decrease in the deer species tiger do not feed on the deer okay and then what happens the number of population the population of the deer will be increases because of the non feeding effect of this tiger okay and if there is a rabbit the rabbit is eaten by different kinds of animals then what happen the number of rabbit or population of rabbit get decreases okay and decreased population do not attract the uh, predator animals that time what happen the rabbit is not eaten by any other animals that time again the number of our population of the rabbit increases so like that to maintain to balance the uh, ecosystem to balance the various uh, communities in the ecosystem the requirement of the food web requirement of our food web okay in uh, exams you ask uh, they, will, uh, they may remove this uh, deer or they may remove frog or anyone they will give a uh, a b c d or uh, one two three four should uh, usually uh, identify the species which are uh, what are called as uh, herbivorous animals or carnivorous animals then you can uh, mark them as a they may be eaten by tiger or they should remember okay everything you should remember in this uh, diagram also okay this is about uh, food to bear next we have ecological pyramids ecological pyramids okay here pyramids are constructed depending on the tropic levels or depending on the food or biomass or energy or organic matter or what you call as a uh, numbers available in each tropic level we have one more definition here which is not uh, spoke that is standing crop standing crop okay, what it is the amount of organic matter the amount of organic matter available at each tropic level the amount of organic matter available as each tropic level at given time at given time period is called as standing crop okay so this standing crop is the what the biomass or organic matter present in all tropic levels so there is standing crop okay then that biomass will be explained in the form of pyramids okay then how to define this pyramids equal to pyramids are the these are the graphical representation graphical representation of various organisms of tropic 
tropic levels various arrangements of tropic levels at a given time and at a given area in which in which producers means a t1 at the base i top carnivores top carnivores means maybe a t4 at the top okay what is this what is equal to pyramids these are the graphical representations of the various organisms of tropic levels at a given time and at a given area in which producers occupied the base base of the pyramids and top carnivores are occupying the top region or deep region of the pyramids deep region of the pyramids okay, usually all pyramids are upright and we have some exceptions in the position of the pyramids and uh, we discuss uh, various uh, types of pyramids and uh, various uh, shapes of the pyramids with the different kinds of ecosystem and with the different types of uh, examples in uh, tomorrow's class okay thank you